This is a patient in her 40s who presents with uncontrolled hypertension, and there was clinical concern for renal artery stenosis. So we got an ultrasound on this patient. We do this with Doppler, and I just want you to look at a few values over here and a few segments uh, that we're going to interrogate. So that's the proximal abdominal aorta. This is the mid-abdominal aorta. The velocity is there around 78, so we'll uh, keep note of that. As we look at the uh, intraparenchymal renal arteries, we notice uh, quite dramatic tardis parvus waveforms in the upper segmental arteries, in the mid-segmental uh, arteries, and the lower segmental arteries. And so when we see those tardis parvus waveforms, it suggests that somewhere upstream from this, there is a narrowing, a stenosis. And so we already know that sort of the aorta at that level is around 78, uh, 80 centimeters per second in terms of this velocity. And so we'll sort of interrogate the renal artery throughout. We see velocities up to 94 in the distal portion. And the mid portion gets up to 187. And so from 78 to 187, we're talking about a little more than twofold increase in velocities with tardis parvus waveforms. And so that sort of little more than twofold is not quite strict criteria for renal artery stenosis, but it is a significant jump. And with the tardis parvus waveforms, that suggests that um, there may be something going on uh, within the renal arteries that we need to interrogate. And so a CTA uh, was obtained to further evaluate this. So here we have the CTA, I have the coronal images, uh, and we can see very nicely that um, you know the renal artery looks reasonably okay in its proximal portion, but right around there in that mid portion, you see this sort of beaded appearance. It's very segmental over there. And as we go into some of the intraparenchymal arteries, you can argue there's a little bit of beaded appearance as well. On the left side, less so. I think you can probably see a few small areas of subtle beating. I think in the intraparenchymal arteries, that becomes a little bit more apparent. But regardless, that uh, appearance on the right side and to a lesser degree on the left side is quite characteristic of fibromuscular dysplasia, something that can cause hypertension, uh, particularly in patients who are 40s and female patients, um, which is what this patient ended up having. Thank you.